Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. In today's show, I want to let you guys know about some information which was just released from a popular leakster on Twitter about a future Samsung smartwatch, and this one is rumored to have been codenamed The Pulse, although it appears is it will actually be launching as the Galaxy Sport, which would make it a successor to the Gear Sport model, which was released in 2017. Now keep in mind that the leaked photos are actually renders and apparently they are based on factory data so it may or may not look exactly like this when it's launched but it still gives us a pretty good idea particularly since it's staying with that rounded face which takes some styling cues from the Gear Sport. And personally I think this is an interesting direction for Samsung to take given that the sales of the Gear Sport were nothing to write home about and the company actually received a lot of criticism from the public about that design. Now, to be fair, based on the images of this new smartwatch, I do think that this one is more refined looking and the Gear Sport had those angular edges and this design definitely is more smooth. And in fact, I think it more closely resembles the Motorola Moto 360 smartwatch, although that particular one was discontinued back in 2017. So this new Galaxy Sport is an improvement in terms of design over the Gear Sport. The question is, will it be enough to appeal to the customers? And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of information right now about possible specs it may come with, other than it's rumored to come with the Tizen operating system, stay with standard four gigabytes of storage capacity, and come in black, silver, green, and pink rose color options. Now, the biggest rumor floating around right now is that it may not come equipped with a rotating bezel. Again, we only have the rendered photos to go with here, but there's a lot of chatter right now about this being a fixed bezel, and I'm really hoping that isn't the case because I think Samsung smartwatches are really unique by having that rotating bezel, and it actually offers a lot of flexibility as to what you can use it for from a user interface standpoint, but we'll have to wait and see what the specs come to reveal. However, if it doesn't come with a rotating bezel, then in my opinion, it's going to have to rely heavily on the Bixby Assistant to launch those applications and to receive other commands, which based on previous user experiences may be a bit of a challenge. Now, no official release date has been leaked, but some are suggesting it may show up at the upcoming Samsung Unpacked press event on February the 20th, as this is also when Samsung is expected to officially launch the new Galaxy S10 smartphone. So what do you guys think? Based on these renders, do you like this new design? And if you have an S3 or even the Galaxy Watch right now, would you consider upgrading? For me, it would have to include some significant hardware upgrades, like a minimum of six gigabytes of storage for one, an excellent battery life, and a rotating bezel because I really like that functionality. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll continue to keep you updated on future rumors, and I expect we're going to start hearing a lot more over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going, so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.